Hey guys, I'm Will from Tech Tech Reviews, and this is the iOS 4.2 preview for the iPad. Uh, this is the GM version, which was released yesterday to all developers. So we're going to be, you know, talking about what's changed, uh, what's different, almost like a little comparison video. So as I mentioned, it is a GM version, which means it's more or less the same as the final version of the firmware. iOS 4.2 is going to be released um, in November to the public, and it's going to be a free download via iTunes. Let's just you know check out the, the lock screen here just to start off with. Uh, you can see the lock screen you know more or less the same same slide the same slideshow button just there. Let's just slide to unlock here. So this is the lock screen here. You know it looks fairly common. Not really much difference. Um, you know first looks to this. Uh, before we look at the software though, let's just take a quick look over the hardware. There's been you know one change here, which is the you guys remember the. Uh, the rotation lock. This used to be, you know, very handy when you were playing games. You could just, you know, lock the rotation to stop the screen from turning around. Now this has actually been turned into a mute into a mute button. Uh, you guys see that there when you flick that. It's going to turn the volume on and off, a bit like the iPhone. Now you can still lock the screen rotation by double tapping the home button, which is going to bring up the multitasking bar. Just sl slide to the right here, and you can see we have all these options. We have the lock rotation, which is obviously just going to lock your screen again, like the iPhone in multitasking. Uh, we have our brightness here. Yeah, it comes in quite handy. Uh, volume, uh, sorry, uh, music player controls there. Uh, here we have our volume, and then here we have our iPod. So you know it is quite awkward, you know, going through this procedure every time you want to lock your screen, but really not too much of a big deal. So that brings us up to multitasking, which really explains itself uh, when you're in your app, for example, uh, let's just go into TweetDeck here, I don't use this anymore, but uh, let's, just, let's just use it as an example. Um, let's just go into TweetDeck here, double tap the home button, and you can see we can actually go straight into Game Center without even ex exiting the app. And from here we can go straight to, say, Safari, and you can see you know, it's very useful. Uh, it takes no time at all. We've just gone in and out with free apps within about two seconds. That's definitely you know, a really great feature. Uh, folders is also another really awesome feature. You guys see I have one folder here. I don't know if you guys see that. Uh, named Games. Now, to create a folder, you simply uh, drag two applications together. I don't know if you guys see that. Let's just drag Mirror's Edge into Let's Golf. And let go, and you can see it actually creates a folder. Uh, again, a lot like the iPhone, it's going to name the folder, although you can rename that to whatever you want. Uh, let's just keep it as action, like so. Click done, and there we go. We can also drag more apps into the folder, like so. So, you know, very handy. You can see, you know, it opens very easily, a lot like the iPhone. Uh, you can actually hold up to 20 apps in its, each folder, I believe, and maybe a bit more, not quite sure on that one. So, anyway, that's folders on iOS 4. Going into the settings here, if we just go into settings, uh, it's covering in you know, different changes. Uh, so first of all, everything looks you know a bit different. Um, I don't we really, can't figure, really figure out what uh, the colors are a bit different. I think you know everything looks a lot more nicer. Um, just you know we still don't have any flash. Let's go into Safari. You know still no flash sadly. Uh, however, you can see this little tab here has been added. It's called Notes. Uh, if we click on this, we can actually change the font of the of the uh, Notes app. Let's change it to this one here. X to this, we can see if we actually go into the notes app here, it's actually been changed. So that's really cool. You can see my notes from one of my last videos there. Um, you know, email has also been improved. Really, not too much of a big difference. You know, it's a lot like the iPhone now. We have our inboxes and then accounts. Uh, so we have it all inboxes, which is really nice. We can view all our messages. That's definitely, uh, you know, definitely one of the biggest feature um, of email. All the uh, all the other apps are pretty much the same, you know, calendar, contacts, uh, maps, YouTube, videos, iTunes, uh, settings. But obviously we have Game Center as well. So if you don't know what Game Center is, it allows you to add uh, friends and share your high scores with them. So that's really cool. Uh, you know, you have me, friends, games, and requests there. I only have 20 friends, so if you want to add me, you guys see my ID is Tech Tech Reviews. So, you know, this isn't too much different from the iPhone version. We just have all these games, suggested games around the side there. Very nice. Uh, definitely looking forward to, you know, sharing my high scores with my friends. They're not really that high, but... Um, you know, it's a pretty big update overall with a lot of changes. Uh, again, this will be available to the public sometime in November. So thank you guys for watching this, this demo of iOS 4.2 on the iPad. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.